We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you. Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Steffi, aka In My Humble Opinion, and welcome back to another I Make Show Film Club movie review. In today's video, we are watching Netflix's newest animated movie entitled Wish Dragon. But before we get into this review, if you wouldn't mind right now giving this video a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated because it would let the YouTube algorithm know that this video is worth pushing out and other people who are interested in watching Wish Dragon who want to find a review on Wish Dragon will find this video a lot easier. So yes, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, so Wish Dragon stars John Cho, Jimmy Wong, Natasha Lou Bordizzo, Constance Wu, Will Yun Lee, Aaron Yu, Bobby Lee, and Jimmy O. Yang. This movie was written and directed by Chris Applehands, and it's actually his directorial debut. For those of you who haven't heard of Wish Dragon yet, Wish Dragon is basically about Din, who was a working class college student with big dreams but small means, and Long, a cynical but all-powerful dragon capable of granting wishes. And they set off on a hilarious adventure through modern day Shanghai in pursuit of Din's long lost childhood friend, Lena. Their journey forces them to answer some of life's biggest questions, because when you can wish for anything, you have to decide what really matters. So as in all my movie reviews here on this channel, I'm going to be talking about my personal pros and cons and then I'm gonna give my overall rating and review at the very end but before we get into all of that I of course have to say a huge thank you to Netflix and the team of Wish Dragon for sending me an early advanced screener of this movie. Thank you Netflix for this amazing opportunity and of course thank you to the team of Wish Dragon. But now let's get into this review. All right, so let's talk about some of the pros. So my first pro to this movie is the world. I think the world of Wish Dragon is so visually stunning. Obviously, they are inspired by modern day Shanghai. You see a lot of the tall buildings and the hustle and bustle of the city life, but this movie also shows the more local, small town, traditional areas of China. Both of these settings are beautiful in their own unique way, but as a whole, I just thought that the world of Wish Dragon is so beautifully immersive and I genuinely could have spent more time in this setting. My second part of this movie is learning about the dragon's backstory. So from a narrative standpoint, this by far was my favorite aspect of the movie because it definitely felt new and different. It's very clear that Wish Dragon has obvious comparisons to Aladdin, which I'm going to get into later in my review, but this aspect of giving the dragon a backstory and essentially learning about his origin story was something that Aladdin did not do with the genie. And I love too that this movie actually gave the dragon a character arc. In Wish Dragon, the dragon actually learns a valuable life lesson from his master, Din, and you can make the argument that this movie is just as much about him even probably more so than it is about the actual humans. My third pro to this movie are its fight sequences. So the fight sequences in this movie are so creative and fun to watch, and they're really well choreographed too. The kung fu sequences are actually in tribute to Jackie Chan, who is a producer of Wish Dragon, and is actually the voice of the dragon in the Mandarin dub version. But watching Din kind of use the environment around him in these fight sequences was just so fun and entertaining to watch, and I was enthralled. And my fourth pro of this movie are the henchmen. So the henchmen of the antagonist in this movie, they're funny guys. And there's one particular moment in the movie when each of them are given an opportunity for a wish and what they wish for is really funny. And there's this interaction that the two henchmen have with each other after this big fight sequence and things have settled down. They have this really funny interaction with one another that is so funny that I actually had to rewind to that part several times just to watch their single interaction again. It's it's really, really funny. But yeah, I, I really liked the henchmen in this movie, even though they didn't really like play a major part, but they're still really fun. And now let's talk about some of the cons. So 
My first con, and it's an obvious con, is that this movie is very similar to Aladdin. The way I actually found out about this movie was on Twitter, and I remember when Netflix released the trailer on Twitter, there were so many people commenting under the tweet that this is just a blatant ripoff of Aladdin. But it's important to know too that this movie, Wish Dragon, is inspired by a Chinese fable, and that that same fable inspired Aladdin. Aladdin. So technically, it's really just that Disney beat them to the punch with telling this particular story. But with all of that being said, Aladdin is still an iconic movie, and the comparisons between Aladdin and Wish Dragon are fair. And in my humble opinion, I feel like Aladdin is a very difficult movie to measure up to, especially when you had the genie being played by Robin Williams. John Cho is fun as the dragon, but he is no Robin Williams as the genie. My second con to this movie is that it is fairly predictable. There were definitely certain plot points and plot twists that I could tell were going to happen like 15, 20 minutes into the movie. And for me, for some reason, I felt like the choices that they had Din making felt very contrived. And I will say though, it's not until Din comes clean with his real identity that for me, I felt like that's when the movie became a lot more interesting and it vastly improved but up until that point and you kind of have to watch the movie a bit in order for you to get to that point up until that point I was really like and my third con to this movie is I felt like there was a lack of chemistry between Din and the dragon. Personally, for me, I wasn't really emotionally invested in their relationship, in their friendship until the very end, until like really the third act of the movie. I hate to sound repetitive, but to bring up Aladdin once again, a huge reason why that movie worked, a huge crux of that movie was the buddy comedy friendship chemistry between Aladdin and and Genie. Now, of course, Genie and Dragon are two very different characters. I feel like Genie wanted to please Aladdin. Obviously, as much as he wanted to be free, he was happy to grant Aladdin's wishes. Whereas Dragon, as a character, he's just kind of rushing through the process. Like, he, he, he just wants his job to be done. And maybe because the Dragon's personality is a bit more cynical and pessimistic than the Genie, that's why I didn't really feel that much chemistry between Din and the dragon. But with that being said, I still feel like that's not an excuse for you to not be emotionally invested and believe in this friendship until the last third of the movie. So for my overall rating, before I get into that, Wish Dragon is ultimately a familiar story set against a distinct Chinese backdrop. And while the film's world is beautifully immersive and I am always here for more Asian representation, I couldn't help but think of Aladdin while watching this movie. And not only did that movie come out first and is so ingrained in Western pop culture, the execution of that story was really well done that I don't think I needed another version of a similar story, even if it is based on a Chinese fable. So while Wish Dragon is cute, it's standing in the shadow of one blue genie. And for that reason, I am giving Wish Dragon a solid B. And all right, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out. And comment down below, are you interested in watching Wish Dragon? Or maybe if you have already seen it, please let me know what you think about the movie because I'd be really interested to know, especially in comparison to Aladdin. That's pretty much it. As always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.